It's great to be here and have a chance to talk to people about my favorite subject, which is palliative care. And I don't often get asked to talk to people about careers in palliative care. So let me start by asking you a question. And the question is this. Are you someone who cares about people and want a career about helping people? Um, then I want you to pay attention to the next 10 minutes because this is a career that's all about helping people. And maybe you already have a career that's about helping people. And if that's the case, you also need to pay attention because this may be the next part of your career. Let's start by talking about what is palliative care very, very quickly. What palliative care is, it's a specialized form of care that's for people with a serious or chronic illness and their family that's focused on improving quality of life. And I don't know about you, but quality of life is pretty important to me. Um, quality of life, and it's focused on helping them get relief from symptoms, pain, the things that get in the way of quality of life. It's delivered by an interdisciplinary team. That team is typically comprised of nurses, social workers, doctors, chaplains, pharmacists, and others, all focused on the needs of the patient and family and ensuring that they have quality of life. A way to think about it, because many people get confused that palliative care is about hospice, and it's much more than that. Palliative care, unlike hospice, goes hand in hand with curative treatment. And so you can have palliative care from point of diagnosis onward through the rest of your life. And hospice will be appropriate in the last six months of, your, of life when you approach death and in the time immediately after for bereavement support. So another way of thinking about it is hospice is just one part of palliative care. So why am I talking about careers in palliative care and why do I want you to consider a career in palliative care? Well, let me give you some data. We have, if you haven't noticed, an aging population. Um, today, one in every eight Americans is over the age of 65. By 2030, that will be one in five. This is a huge need because what we also know is that people who are over the age of 65, have 90% of them have at least one serious or chronic illness. And a, fully a quarter of those people have five or more conditions. In other words, this is a group of people that needs palliative care. And they're not getting it today. They need it. So you might say to me, well, if the need's so great, What's the barrier? And the answer is a trained workforce, people that know what palliative care is. Now, one part of that is actually happening even as you listen today, because it's important that everyone, every health professional, every American, everyone in the world, I believe, needs to know what palliative care is so they can advocate for it for their family members and their friends. Because if you go into health systems today, not everyone knows what palliative care is. So there's a, there's a barrier there, too. And that's part of why we need trained staff and a workforce that knows what palliative care is. And then we need every health professional to know what it is. And then we need specialized experts, nurses, doctors, pharmacists, social workers, chaplains, and other health professionals who focus on the needs of people who are needing palliative care. So I said that uh, well, I was going to tell you how to have a career in palliative care. Let's focus on that. The place to begin if you're starting your career is first choose an area you have a passion for. Um, I don't often get asked um, or given the opportunity to give young people or people who are starting a new career a piece of advice. Today, they've given me that chance. Um, the opportunity to do that is choose a healthcare profession that you love. The piece of advice is anyone starting a career, choose something that you love. Um, as someone once said, then you'll never work a day in your life. But if you're interested in a career in palliative care, choose a healthcare profession that you are really passionate about and start down the path towards that profession. Choose a school, and I will put a plug in here for Cal State San Marcos because I believe it's the leading edge of what is happening in the revolution of palliative care. 
Choose a school that integrates palliative care into the curriculum. So if you are thinking of a nursing career and you're attending Cal State San Marcos, you will graduate with something that nurses graduating from other schools most probably will not have. And that is at least eight hours of training in palliative care. It won't make you an expert, but you will have a grounding in it. Same thing will be true if you are studying for your master's in social work. You will find that you get palliative care in that as well. And if you're a student at Cal State San Marcos, well, you're going to hear about palliative care because I'm going to make sure you hear about it. So choose a school that understands and knows the importance of palliative care. Get your degree. Maybe even get an advanced degree. If you're interested in social work, look at getting a master's in social work. We need social works social workers who have master's degrees. And they're very uh, in demand in palliative care and much needed. Um, then get experience at work and in life. Um, and if you're so passionate about palliative care that what you want to do is learn more and you're still a student, that's fine. You can do that. In fact, we have non-credit programs that students can take through the, the CSU Institute for Palliative Care that will give you a really deep grounding in palliative care. So explore, get your degree, and then get a job and get some experience. And if you're ready, you've gotten, for example, some experience if you're a nurse in an acute care setting, or maybe if you're a social worker, you've worked in a hospital, perhaps you've gotten your licensed clinical social work uh, designation, then you're ready to, to really dive into that career in palliative care. And then what I suggest you do is take a course. Again, think about a non-credit course. Think about doing some, a conference, some CEUs, things like that that will build your expertise. If you take one of the courses in your discipline through the CSU Institute for Palliative Care, perhaps our RN Certificate in Palliative Care, or our new Critical Palliative Care Skills for Social Workers, or our Chaplaincy Program, you'll have a leg up on any other candidate that wants to get a job working in palliative care, even if you don't have experience. So those are, that's the way. And then once you're in palliative care, my advice to you is this, get a credential, get recognized. Move to the head of the class by doing the next step and demonstrating to people that you really are a professional in the world of palliative care. And so when you do this, what I hope you will be doing is also helping us to educate and fulfill our mission, which is to educate today's healthcare professionals. So you'll soon be one of those, or maybe you already are one of those. And, and I should stop here for a moment and say, I've talked primarily if you're jumping into a new career, but for many nurses and social workers who already have a career and are thinking about, I'm not quite in the right place, palliative care may be the answer. Um, I've had many nurses and social workers who go into palliative care say to me, this is what I thought nursing or social work was all about. I'm so glad I made that change. So. We're here to educate current professionals, folks who say, mm, I want to do something more. I really want the heart back in my practice. To also educate the future workforce, so those of you who are starting out, and also help everyone in our community understand the importance of palliative care, what it is, and why they and their family members need to know about it. So I hope you will look seriously at a career in palliative care because we need you to do that. Selfishly, I'm going to be part of those uh, one in five Americans over the age of 65 by 2030. We need you to provide care for people who will need that, your skills, your talents, your expertise. So come join us at Cal State San Marcos. Come join us at the CSU Institute for Palliative Care and start on your career in palliative care. And have a great day.